So because today diabetes is on the rise, obesity is on the rise, cancer is on the rise, metabolic syndrome is on the rise, we have a lot of health issues that we're facing. It's an epidemic. I used to work in an emergency room uh, as a nurse, and every patient that would come in, it was like everybody, everybody was just diagnosed with cancer, and like in their 20s, in their 30s, and their 40s. I came back to Canada thinking I would get you know, world-class medical care, but again, I was brushed off. I saw almost 20 different doctors, specialists. I was given Tylenol and antibiotics, and that was the solution. Unravel the root cause of disease and treat the root cause which will remove the causative agent of disease. A lot of people are looking for the best diet, but what they don't understand is food is like medicine. To maintain a healthy lifestyle, I promote wholesome living. We've been provided the template since the beginning of time on what that is. The physical body is the last place of manifestation, meaning when disease appears on the human body, it has grown through the spiritual, mental, emotional, and etheric bodies first. Laugh, live, and be happy. Time to celebrate life, not suffering. Suffering in your mind. So you have to purify your mind, open your heart. Cancer is a last ditch effort of your body to try to get you to the highest priority in your life, which is thank you, I love you, to the people that have contributed to your life, and to thank you, I love you, to yourself, and to get on with what's most meaningful to your life, and not be doing something that other people are expecting. If we don't accept ourselves and model that, then how can the young people that come after us, how are they able to do that as well? In Zen and in any kind of oriental philosophy, the mind and the body are one. His hands would get hot. Energy flowed through his hands and he was performing miraculous healings. People would walk again, see again, and patients were cured of cancer. In China, uh, traditional Chinese medicine has the uh, a legal uh, position as the biomedicine. Individuation is, is coming to a place of knowing who you truly are. Individuation is, know, uh, on the downfall, know thyself to thine own self be true. How many people really know who they are going into that? If you can dream it, you can achieve it. And that was, that was big to me. The main reason that companies' business models aren't really working for people well today and why people feel so disconnected from their jobs is because business models nowadays are based on industrial era thinking, which was over 100 years ago and it just isn't working. Will money make you fulfilled? And um, it's a great question. To live an amazing life, you're gonna need to be courageous. I can guarantee you, nobody lives an amazing life if you stay in your comfort zone. When you stay in your comfort zone, you'll feel bored. There comes a time when spirit starts to give us little nudges, usually when we're starting to get off track. I had a near-death experience. As a result of that mystical experience, I was convinced of our universal oneness. We are all entering into this new age of awareness. It's exciting. All three are referred to as the three treasures of man. Internal alchemy is directed at transforming these treasures for the purpose of immortality. This advanced way of being in the world, it's a totally different reality.